need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over... So what he's basically saying, you can do what you want to do, as long as it doesn't bother me. Do whatever, as long as it doesn't offend me. Do whatever, as long as I don't give a fuck. But I give a fuck, so you can't do it. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, you dig. Today, we talking about this Democratic Socialist of a Democratic Socialist of America convention. And before we get started, don't forget that like button, comment, and subscribe. Remember, the race for 200 subscribers is on and popping. We still at 194. Hit that, so hit that subscribe button. Please, please help me get to that. Please, please help me get to 200 subscribers. But, I ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's get right to the video. So today, we're reacting to this Democratic Socialist of America video. The reason why I want to talk about this because we are living in the real life episodes of South Park. We really are. And I got proof to show you we are. The more and more we bend the knee to the most sensitive of people, the worse and worse the world will be. We need to stop giving a fuck about everybody's emotions. We need to stop caring so much about what other people think. Just because you feel a certain way don't mean I have to care. Well, that's not being compassionate. Shut up. People think that their feelings matter. Just because you feel a certain type of way don't mean you're right. It does not mean you're right. And that's the problem. We got these oversensitive, young, crybaby, white, elite, leftist liberals who complain about everything. Everything. They haven't had to do a day or so of hard work. What struggle have they went through? This is the problem. They've been insulated all their life. They've been institutioned all their life. They haven't had to do a day's hard work. That's why they're so sensitive and such crybabies. Because they haven't had to experience any hardship. And this is what happens when you raise a generation of people that don't have to struggle. They get soft. They cry about everything. And, I, and, and these two clips I'm going to show you. The first one I'm going to show you is the Democratic Socialists of America Convention. The... The, the crazy, this, the, <laughs> I gotta say it right. The insanity that the leftists want us to all agree with and get mad because we don't give a fuck about their feelings because half the stuff they say makes no sense and none, half of it's not based in reality. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> and then the second clip I'm gonna show you is a clip from South Park and it kind of, plays into what I'm talking about because it South Park does a good job at imitating what's really going on in life and it's going to show you it's going to it's a clip of Carmen at the store exerting his his uh his so-called elitist but he's not really elitist because he's you know you're going to get you're going to see what I mean you're going to see what I mean. Let's play this clip first. Uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point uh, of personal privilege. Yes. What is a quick point? First of all, what is a quick point of privilege? Why are you telling me that you're privileged? I don't care. Nobody cares. Quick point of privilege? This is what I'm talking about. I have to announce my privilege because I have white privilege. And if I don't, I'm going to be this. No, what you're doing is virtue signaling. That's what you're doing. I need to announce that I'm privileged. 
because it affects people. Bruh, just say what you got to say. Don't tell me quick point of privilege. Don't tell me how you're privileged. It's, it's this whole... It's this whole arrogance. And that... The, the, it's the whole attitude that I'm better than you. By you saying quick point of privilege, what you're saying is, I'm better than you because I'm telling people that I'm... that I have privilege and I'm recognizing it. Bro, nobody cares. It's like this thing where, in California, where all the people, a lot of people that have electric cars, it's like, I have an electric car because I care about the environment, and you're a dick. You're an asshole because you don't care about the environment. I'm better than you because I have an electric car, I have a Tesla, and you have a gas guzzler which is poisoning the environment. You should be ashamed of yourself. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's that attitude that white liberal elites have. That's the attitude. It really is. Watch. Let's keep watching. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just... I know it's we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter do to you, a minimum? It's do you see the people going like this? Look at the people going like this. They're doing jazz hands because people can't even handle clap. So you want us to not clap anymore? What is going on? This is the craziness. Oh shit, my light. Oh shit. But this is craziness. You can't even clap because one person, look at all these people in the room. One person can't handle noises. Why are you here? Why do I have to? Why do I have to change how I am? Because you're a pansy. Because you, you act like a child. I'm I'm prone to sensory overload. I'm so fucking soft that I can't handle people whispering. Please don't whisper. I I can't I can't handle noises. I can't. Like bruh, come on now, bruh. Get out of here and listen to this person. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, pronouns? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Personal, personal privilege. Please do not use gendered language to to address everyone. <laughs> Please do not use gendered language. To bro, shut up. Bro, look at this. They want to control you. Because they said so. They want you to do what they do. They want you to, they want you to, they want you to, cut, what is the word, fuck. <laughs> they want you to conform because their feelings are hurt. Don't use gender, la saying you guys has never been a problem until now. Who, I call girls dude all the time. I call girls I'm more, I call girls bruh all the time. Is that gender language? What's that? I call, ask my girlfriend. Ask her. I call her bruh all the time. Bruh, chill, bruh. It's not that I think she's a guy. It's just a word. It's just a word. Please, please don't use gender language because I can't handle you, you saying you guys. Point of privilege once again. Quick point, point, of, privilege. point of privilege once again. Hi, James Jackson. This here is ego again. Say he, him. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades. Who now are he's pissed because people still talking. He's like, you better stop talking because it's bothering me. It's bothering me. I'm gonna kill everybody, and you're pissing me off. These, these people are unhinged. These people are unhinged. We can't talk because you said so? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to tell me I can't talk in a public place? It's a public place. 
fucking people, bro. Sensitive to sensory overload, and that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It like, is also triggered. Like it goes double for the heckling and hustling. Look, look what he, look, listen to what he also said. Let me rewind it back so you catch the whole thing. Listen. It is also triggering to my anxiety. It's triggering. Look like, at all the people. The P comradely doesn't just, isn't just for like, you know, let's keep things civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't going to get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate, okay? Your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over, like, I see that no see, one is clapping the, for me. He didn't make any sense. Listen to what he says. Trump or over. Like, I see that. So, no so basically, let, let's rewind it back just a little bit. Hey, your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over. So what he's basically saying, you can do what you want to do as long as it doesn't bother me. Do whatever as long as it doesn't offend me. Do whatever. As long as I don't give a fuck. But I give a fuck. So you can't do it. That's what he says. Do it. But when I give a fuck, you better stop. You can express yourself as long as I don't give a fuck. And if I give a fuck, you better stop. Because you better stop. Because I said so. And you're triggering me. So we can't clap. Everybody go like this. see that no one's clapping for me it could be because i'm not engaging but it also is because everyone's doing this and that's really important because those loud bursts of noise even though this is a noisy space but we can do something like reducing that that's really important so please don't clap shoot up so me. everybody has rules for everybody you can't you you can't whisper over there we can't clap nobody can clap everybody has to do this because it bothers people so we can't what happened to snap that, at least that makes more sense. What happened to snapping? You can't say guys because it bothers me. And you can't... And you, you can't... But like I said, you can't whisper. I mean, stop whispering. We have a lot of disabled comrades. And uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. What's the... What's, what the fuck is an invisible disability? What the hell? What is it in this? What is an invisible disability? Something that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's an invisible disability. I'm supposed to know you have. I'm supposed to do something, change how, how I am act, because for somebody that's not even expressing how they feel or what they have, I'm just supposed to not act a certain way. I'm just supposed to know that there's people. With disabilities that I don't know about. So I better be courteous to them. How about you tell me? How about you say something? And this is the problem. You want me to conform for you. These people are selfish. Entitled brats. Selfish entitled brats. For you to say people have invisible disabilities. So we better be aware of something that's invisible. We need to see something that's invisible. So we can't do other things because people have invisible disabilities. What sense does that make? Is you don't know who it is uh, that is having a more difficult time navigating this space. And this space was not created with all of their needs in mind. So it's up to us to modify that space to make sure that uh, everybody is no. able to... It's not. It's not up to me. To give a fuck. It's it's courteous. But the problem with you leftists is you think everybody has to do uh everybody has to what's that word? Everybody has to consider that everybody has problems. What about my problems? The le the left is so goddamn selfish. Everything revolves around their feelings and how they feel. Fucking selfish. And in a minute, we're not going to be able to do anything. Let these people, let these people get in power. We're not going to be able to do a motherfucking thing. Move in the way that 
the ways that they need to move. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? Um, because those there's there's all sorts of things. If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways. I'm sure people get offended by this. Each other without needing to rely what has this thing, triggered me? Uh, that's going to oh, no! Your hands! Else. They we look violent! Don't do that! Range of <laughs> Your hands! They, they, they look like they're, they're coming for me! They look like they're, they're gonna attack me! Please don't use ass hands! <laughs> George Carlin had a wonderful bit about this. About the more and more we take stuff away, it's just the more the more people sensitive people get. We can't. We're not gonna be able to do anything. We're not gonna be able to say anything. This is terrifying, bro. These right. Please don't go in that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance. Right. So we don't want to put people in stressful situations that they don't consent to. Right. And we there are. Uh, what is right? what is the stressful situation that you don't consent to? So, life is a stressful situation. So, so you're going to be mad at your parents? Actually, somebody tried to sue their parents because they didn't consent for them to be bored, born, which makes no sense. You don't consent to be... There's no such thing as consenting to be in a stressful situation. Stressful situations just happen. And then, see? See? These are children. You can't even handle stressful situations. These people will ball up in a corner and cry for the slightest hint of adversity. And I'm supposed to take you serious because you can't handle being an adult. Life is stressful. That's what life is. Life is not a walk in the park. That's the problem with these people. They want life to be a walk in the park. That's not life. Life is not cotton candies and rainbows and unicorns and fairy tales. It's not life. That's not how real life works. It's not. Infiltrators who are trying to get in here, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative effort to de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? Take a deep breath. I feel better before you say anything. Don't really talk to anybody who doesn't have a pretend credential, especially if claim to be from the press. You have no idea who that person is. Please do not talk to that. anybody who identifies themselves as a member of the press without having uh, credentials. Um, don't talk to cops. Don't talk don't to talk MAGA to assholes. Oh, we're almost there. Just no, look, the people people start cheering. You're like, wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to trick anybody. Jazz hands. He said, he, he said something everybody agreed with. And he's like, no, no, don't cheer. Don't cheer. Everybody okay? You okay? You're not gonna cry, are you? You okay? You're not gonna die over there, are you? Because people clap. You're not. You're all right. You're all right. Everybody okay? Don't 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 please don't don't. Because this guy has sensory overload. We don't want him to, his head to explode. Uh, this, but thank you. Um. We are going to be visited tomorrow um, by some MAGA protesters. Holy um, shit. Is there anybody here who's done How many days abortion is this clinic lun escort work? Lunacy go on. Don't talk to cops if there are cops there for any reason at all, right? Um, and if you do see someone talking to cops, uh, let the marshals know. Well, what if what if the cops are... What if the cops are asking you guys questions to keep you guys safe? Because you obviously can't handle yourself. Well, if the cops are trying to protect you guys, don't 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 let the cops protect you. What you guys clearly need the cops to protect you guys, but don't talk to them. Don't talk to the police. Don't talk to them for any reason. If a police officer says hi, don't say hi back. We are we are safe and we are strong because there's power in collective uh, in collective work. I don't know about y'all, but that was terrifying. All right, now lo let's watch this South Park clip. And y'all gonna see why we are living in South Park. All right, can I take your order? Excuse me. What would you like, sir? Can you wait? Isn't that your job? Are you a waiter? <laughs> Hey, could you turn your phone 
down, kid. This is a restaurant. It just so happens I have anxiety. That means I have trouble being around assholes who won't leave me alone. Look, see how he wants everybody to conform to him? I, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm texting, so don't bother me. Please don't bother me. I have anxiety. Bike noise. Oh, hello, Eric. Shut up, I have anxiety. <laughs> hey, kid! Hey, kid! I'm on my phone! You're about to get hit by a car! Look. Alright, that's it! Everyone stop! Just f stop right now! Look, Listen see? up, people! I have anxiety! That means I'm in my shell and have a hard time expressing myself! I He acts just like the dude guy with sensory overload! He acts just like him. Holy shit. I didn't realize this clip was going to be so dead on. I've, I've seen this episode. That's how I knew to pull up this clip. But I didn't watch rewatch it before. I didn't rewatch it before. I watched the video. I made it. Bruh. Holy shit. This clip is dead on. It's difficult to engage with others. So everyone shut the f*** up because my anxiety is up here right now. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I. Oh. We are living in South Park, folks. So don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you think, and let me know if you think we're living in South Park.